In this uh, seller board tutorial by Jenny Adams, you will learn how to use the PPC keyword automation feature. Sellerboard PPC module tracks the profitability and your PPC campaigns, ad groups and keywords and helps you optimize bids to reach your target profitability. If you want to use Sellerboard, find the special offer below this video and also the link. And uh, don't forget to hit like button below this video if you like content like this and subscribe to our channel. Hello everyone and welcome to Orange Click. My name is Jenny and today I'll be showing you a demo of one of our new PPC features at Sellerboard. So Sellerboard is an accurate profit analytics service with additional tools such as follow-up email campaigns, inventory management, reimbursement for lost and damaged stock, as well as other B errors, um, PPC optimizer, listing change alerts, eBay and Shopify connectors, and much, much, much more. So um, I'll be using a demo account and if you click on PPC in your seller board account, you'll be able to view everything that I'm viewing right now. So this is the demo account. All of these are fake numbers, but um, the, the demo account works just as a real one. As you know, seller board has a model that, and it includes three features. So the first one is the profit, profitability and analysis feature for your PPC campaigns, where you can see your profit and loss by campaign. So on the top here, we see the last 30 days as you see here and you can see the sales number of ppc triggered orders but also things like amazon fees and estimated profit over here when you have ppc sales orders impressions ctr clicks conversion amazon fees and the rest um, the second one is the bid automation feature so what's what's bids, bid automation so celebrate celebrate can make bid recommendations and optimize your campaigns to meet your specific profit goals or campaigns or even per keyword so here you'll see bid recommendation and keyword recommendation as well as the current bid of course all these numbers in your celebrate account will be filled this is just a demo so it's used just to make sense for explanation the third one is keyword automation, where, where you can automatically move keywords from one campaign to another to do keyword harvesting and also to optimize your keywords and do some other automation, like put the keywords on negative if certain criteria is met. This is what I'll be explaining further during this demo. So let me show you how this works over here in Sellerboard. So if you see, if you go here to the PPC menu and scroll down to the bottom of this page, we can, we can um, here find columns. Um, so bid recommendation, status, ad spend, CPC, PPC, PPC sales, um, ACOS profit, break-even ACOS, break-even um, break bid, current bid, bid recommendation, tool recommendation, and you can un also, if you click on co configuration, you'll be able to view other KPIs here as CTR, for example, if you wish. So let's do the third campaign over here. This will be much easier for me to show you different parameters. So one important thing is that the automation status over here, you'll be able to see test off and on. So here we have the automation status off. So there's no automation involved. And the second status is test over here, which means that you can test. What happens if you test is Sellerboard will make recommendations, but they'll not be applied unless you apply them manually. So you can review the recommendations and apply them. And the third status is on which is not shown here, but it will be shown in your seller board account, which means that it that your whole campaign is on autopilot and doesn't require your manual approval, uh, your manual approval, I'm sorry. So if you, if you expand this campaign here, you'll see a campaign and it's called auto over here. Well, it's actually not a group because this campaign is an automated one. This is why it's written auto over here. You can see the keywords here under the auto and actually under every keyword, you can search terms per keyword. So you'll be able to view them over here. The ornament box, the gift box, the gift box for women, and so on. You can explore the information over here. Well, you'll be able to see the sales, the ad spend, and everything that I've mentioned earlier. Let's go to the top. And let's click, for example, on the ornament box. So what you have here is you have keyword recommendations for the ornament gift box. So the first one is the recommendation to put it to negative because there were no sales after 10 clicks. And this is something that you can configure. And I'll show you how in a moment, but basically it's a text explanation of what seller would recommend. And the reason why we here recommend to put the keyword to negative 
is because the ornament, well, you have here the ornament gift, which is the keyword. So you can have an automated campaign and it generates clicks based on this search term. And as you know, in the automated campaigns, Amazon um, recommends or proposes the keywords, but in case we just get clicks here, but no sales. So you basically want to move this keyword to negative because it seems like it's not relevant or it's not bringing you any money. So once we do that, you're going to stop wasting money. And on this keyword, basically you get a better ACOS. And then there's the third recommendation over here. Well, you'll have a third when you're seller board account, but here there are only two, is to move it to, to negative as well. So if you click accept, then this uh, ornament box will be switched to a negative keyword recommendation after 10 clicks. If there are no sales after 10 clicks, once you click accept, the changes will be made automatically. You can choose whether you'd want keywords to be moved to negative after 20 clicks or after 30. It all depends on how much you are willing to spend on the ad. So the strategy behind this is if you run, for example, an automated campaign and once you notice the keyword that performs well, because there were no more than five orders within the last, let's say, 14 days in this case, you can move this keyword to a manual campaign and start optimizing the budget or the bid for this keyword in a separate campaign. To make the best out of it is to reach the, you'll have to reach the post, the best possible ACOS on this keyword. So this is like your keyword harvesting, we can call it that way. Uh, we can accept the recommendations and then they're sent to the seller central to the advertising console and deploy it in your seller board, uh, in your Amazon seller account, I'm sorry. So um, I will be showing how all this works and how to configure all these automation rules. So in order to do that, you'll have to click on the three dots over here and click on edit. The first thing you'll have to choose is the status. So this is not clickable for me. Let's do it like this. Okay, this is not clickable for me, but the first thing you have to do, you'll have to choose is the status when you enter your PPC optimization feature in Celebrate. So the first one is on over here and um, it's an automated one. And uh, the reason it's called on is because all recommendations are applied automatically and it's complete autopilot. It's on complete autopilot. The second one is test and the test phase is where Celebrot calculates the recommendations but doesn't apply them automatically. So basically you'll have to approve them just like I showed you earlier where you can accept recommendations or not. The third one is off. You'll have, you'll be, you'll have the possibility to choose them here. And off means that there will be no recommendations. And by the way, if you run an autopilot here, you can still review the changes that Celebrate made if you don't like one of them or you can go ahead and change the parameters or like turn off the automation. It all depends on you. So we have two tabs here. One is bid automation and one is keyword automation. Let me go like this. Um, it's kind of blurry in the demo account for me. Uh, I hope you can see it, but it will be very bold in your real seller board account. So there are two rules here. You move a bad performing um, search, search term to negative and basically move well-performing search term to another campaign as a keyword. So the first one means that you typically do an auto campaign, but you can also apply it to a normal campaign. You'll have it over here. So um, you'll have here the bid recommendation and the clicks after how many click after how many clicks the um, the bid should be removed and how many steps. And here you have set the man minimum and maximum bid. Um, how it works is that if you have a bad performing search term, which keeps generating um, expenses, but does not generate any sales, then this rule will just put, then according to this rule, what you put over here, uh, we'll put it to negative. So basically you'll stop wasting money here and you can configure the number of clicks. So in this case over here, um, if there are no sales after 10 clicks, then the search term will be moved to negative. So 10 clicks means the conversion rate, so roughly 10. So if you have on PPC, then you should get more sales after 10 clicks. Um, okay, so if you have this number low, there you're not going to waste money, but maybe you'll get rid of some keywords that are potentially good. And if you give them a little bit more time, so the second rule here is about well-performing keywords over here. So the second rule here is about well-performing keywords or search terms rather than Celebrate looks at search terms and if they perform well, according to the criteria that we set earlier here, we put the keyword on negative in the original campaign. 
over here you'll see even after how many orders were made and according to the campaign so we can edit the negative and out the campaign for example if it's keyword harvesting that we're talking about and we created a separate campaign as a keyword and here you can specify the parameters so the most obvious one and the default option is number of orders over here so if you had five orders for a specific keyword within the last let's say 14 days as mentioned over here then it's qualified to be upgraded to move to be moved to another campaign but you can also specify some other criteria here like conversion rate or ACOS or if an ACOS is smaller than 20 for example and you have a profit like within 40 if your keyword is profitable within the last 14 days to save some profit more than zero, right? Because you wouldn't be wanting to make a zero. So um, you might want to move it to another campaign. So basically, if the search term is positive and it's generating to you sales after some specified amount of orders as we have here, then you would most likely want to use it in another campaign as well. You, you can also set choose the campaign over here, choose the phase, set the match type and set the bid. So the next basically what you can do here is you can configure the target for this keyword for the search term. So the keyword is going to be created in this campaign. And then we can pick up the group, then two more parameters here. You have the match type over here. The match type will help you, will help you select whether you want to be in the new campaign or new group and what the bid should be in the default bid for the target group that will be used. Basically, what you're doing here is you're choosing the campaign, you're choosing the group, you're choosing the set match, you're choosing the match type, whether you want it to be for the for the default bid and the target group that will be used. So the setting bid too. What you can do here is you have an option as well. So like once again, it's not clickable for me. I just know how it works in real life, but it will be clickable for you. So if you set the bid to default over here, then seller board will basically not set any bid for you. And the bid from the group level will be used. You can also go ahead and set the custom bid. So this is going to be amount in dollars or whatever currency you're using for your campaigns. And if so, seller board will set this bid basically from there, you can go ahead and optimize your target campaign. If you use the bid automation features in seller board, seller board will then go ahead and find the right bid to reach your target profitability goals. How it works is that first of all, going right back to where we started, you will have to choose the automation stat status, whether it's in test, whether it's off or whether whether it's on. And from there, you'll be able to choose whether you want to receive automated keyword and bid recommendations from seller board or you would like to approve them manually. So um, once we've figured all this that we mentioned during the last few minutes, we can apply the settings and we can enable all the campaigns. If we want to put an autopilot or put it on a test version or to review for the next couple of days, you'll have to always be approving seller board's recommendations just like we did over here. If you um, find yourself after some time always accepting seller board's recommendations, then you can just go ahead and switch the status to on. And basically, seller board, basically the campaigns will be on automation. So seller board will be approving um, the bids for you automatically. So I hope this made sense. I hope you enjoyed what you watched. What you watched. This was seller board, and this was the deep optimization feature in it. Hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and if you would like to try and see how seller board works for yourself. You can find the link below to sign up for Sellerboard. You will get a special offer as well. And uh, now I would like to invite you to watch other video with Sellerboard where you can learn more about uh, what they do and what, uh, how it can help your Amazon business.